Help support the companies that support our community. So far what I've done is basically make a bowl and left the side stick. So I'm going to sand the outside down a little bit to give it a little bit of an oval shape and then on the inside I'll do the two opposite sides to give it an oval shape on the inside. So I just picked up these uh, sanding pads from uh, Canet Woodturner's Wonders and they're a little bit oversized and they're perfect for the inside of the bowls and things that come out on the outside of that pad. They work really well. So what I'm going to do is just kind of sand it up. I'm using the Howards again to put a finish on the inside. As far as the, the bill, again, I got grabbed the Arbor Tech and it works fantastic. I had a couple of questions about that, about going with the grain or with uh, against the grain, whether it grabbed. I haven't noticed it grabbing either way, uh, with the grain or against the grain, but it is a little bit rougher uh, coming against the grain. But what it does is eliminates the dust. It's actually cutting the wood instead of creating a giant dust storm. So that's a huge plus there. What I did was just uh, cut it out on the bandsaw, the basic shape, take it over to the uh, oscillating sander and refine it a little bit. And I used a dowel because of wood movement. So if I just glue the bill straight to the, to the cap, um, if the wood moves a little bit, it can pop off there. So I stuck a, it's a, I believe it's a 3 8 inch dowel in there, and which will hold it even if there's a little bit of wood movement. So at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how you can uh, throw your name in the hat to win this. So it's going to be up for grabs. And I also want to say thank you so much to everybody. Um, we hit 200,000 subscribers. So I 
thank you appreciate that more than you know thank you so much so at the end of the video too we're giving away another collab piece from scott grove and myself so i'll let you know how you can win that at the end too As far as painting it, uh, just ran to the uh, store and picked up some little sticky uh, letters. It, it worked out pretty well. Um, I thought they were going to bleed through a little bit, but they didn't. And so I just painted those on. And then I wasn't quite sure how the Howards would react with the paint. So I put a little bit of clear in a cup and cleared just the Carolina logo. But it worked out really well. Put a little uh, nub on it. The only thing I probably would have done different, a little bit differently, is I wish I would have made the bill uh, cup up a little bit more. It has a little arc to it, but I was, uh, I think I, next one, if I do another one, I think I'll, I'll really bring it up a little bit more. But it was a fun, fun project. It's uh, again, it's walnut. Uh, just uh, finishes up beautiful. It has some nice grain into it, a little bit of sapwood and some hardwood in it. All right, um, I will uh, get some pictures of this up at the end as well. I mentioned it last week, but again, the AAW show is next weekend. It's June uh, 15th, 16th, and 17th. If you're in anywhere near, near Portland, please stop by and say hi to the Portland Convention Center. It's free to get in the vendor area and the gallery, so please stop by and say hi. Easy Wood Tools is giving away a chuck every day, so please stop by the booth and say hi. We have some fantastic demonstrators gonna be there, so please uh, swing in there and check everything out. And we're having a meetup Friday night. It's gonna be at 8.30. I'll put a link down below in the description to the restaurant. It's right across the street from the convention center. So please stop by and say hi if you can't make it to the symposium. And that's Friday night, right around 8.30. There we go. I did that final sanding with 600 and the Howard's uh, oil and wax. The overall length on it is 10 and a half by seven. And again, it's out of walnut. So. To win this to throw your name in the hat i will put a link down below in the description to carolina's instagram page so go over there start following them and they'll have all the details on how you can win this very soon all right again caroline thank you so much for all your support with the mobile shop appreciate it so much so thank you guys so if you need a pair of boots head on over to carolina and check that out and i have a link down below in the description too for a coupon code so check that out all right Thank you guys, and that'll be up soon. All right, we just hit 200,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much, appreciate it. Love you guys. All right, we're gonna do another uh, collab piece that Scott Grove and I did. This one, I turned it a demo, and he took it home and did this awesome texture on it. So, what we're gonna do is the same thing we did last time. In the comments below, leave the word Grove, but be creative with it. So, Robin's gonna pick the winner this time. And so use the word Grove in the comments somewhere. Get creative and quick tip, she likes funny. So try and make it funny. All right, and that's a, I'm not sure what type of wood that is either, but, but we're gonna give that away. All right, um, and again, if you're in the area, please stop by the AAW Symposium. It's at the Portland Convention Center. And please stop by and say hi. We're gonna be at the Easywood booth with a bunch of other people and uh, just swing in there. And again, it is free to get into the vendor area and gallery. So if you need some inspiration, come down and check out all this stuff. 
All right. Till next week, take care in the Grove piece. We're going to wait till um, we have the symposium on uh, takeoff on Wednesday. We'll do it Wednesday night. Um, uh, Wednesday night, midnight Pacific time. We'll go through all the comments and pick the winner then. All right. Till next week, take care.